says you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Marnie says, sorry, Petunia. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rayon. You look so sloppy out, <laughs> out there that people are going to think we're both weak. Because we're related. Pierre says, you got it wrong, sis. Rayhan's just that strong. Uh, but I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. I, like, does Rayhan seem like the type to not use Dynamax? Because I'm, I'm guessing that Rayhan did use Dynamax. It's true. It is true. Skippy says, you need like a gentleman's agreement to face Pierce. Otherwise, you, ju you just look like a jerk. Yeah, or maybe that's part of like Pierce's mind game, right? By the way, I'm not going to Dynamax. And either you're like, uh, okay, well, I'm going to Dynamax anyway. And then people will hate you. Or you're like, okay, well, I guess I won't Dynamax either. But chances are, if you're playing in the Galar Major Leagues, you've built your team around Dynamaxing. So maybe maybe this is just Pierce's mind games. Because there's no reason for him not to Dynamax if he's at a, at a Dynamax spot. Marnie says, all right, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. Aw. Marnie says, I'm counting on you to win, Petunia. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Rayon's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. Okay, so Rayhan cheats in that he's the dragon type trainer, but he doesn't use exclusively dragon types. Unlike Petunia, who is completely actually... I think this will be good. Oh, well, yeah, obviously I always have, as always, my fairy type that doesn't know any fairy moves. If I need to tank the... Uh... Oh, I guess, yeah, I should think about the fact that... This is going to be a doubles battle. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. Dang it! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Uh, you might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rayhan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Do I still have Ribatina? Because that makes it a lot easier to just switch Ribatina in when Duraludon comes out. Torkoal? Yeah, what the heck, right? Oh, no. This is a dry skin Toxicroak. Lava Plume. Yeah, Torkoal hits really hard. Like, it has a pretty good special attack, I think. And then if we don't wake up, then we'll swap out, because Peppers will be in trouble then. Uh, Saint Jadilu says, it's a brave move, Cotton. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah, he did throw me for a loop. See, what would be masterful is, is if he foresees the switch out and he yawns again. Lava Plume! Should be not effective at all. There we go. <laughs> get wrecked, turt! See if I can just get in one solid uh, Dragon-type attack in and take it out. Okay. Using Sandstorm, that's fine. Let the winds blow, stream forward, Sandstorm. Uh, let's see. Zemzi says, I caught the breakdown after the fact on the wonderful Lopez Family Variety channel. That's right. And you can always watch clips from this stream in, at Lopez Family Variety Channel on YouTube. Uh, Scotty Moe says, you c I guess you couldn't let Flygons be Flygons. Why? I... No, that was good. Zemzi says, it was Flygon, but now it's Bygon. You guys. Rayan picked a Skyscraper for his ace, and that's just hilarious. Yeah, I mean, that's the Dragon type for the, for the region, right? Oh, a Hydro Pump is actually, like... 
just normal. I should have hit him with Dragon Pulse. I feel like Rayhan doesn't can make up his mind as to whether he wants a Sand or a Sun team. Here you go. Have a taste of Sunny Day. Have you got a plan to counter it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hit you with a Dragon Pulse. How about that? That's that's Rayhan's combo. Uh, sunny Day plus Full Restore. Get out of here. Rayhan is about to send out Gudra. Gudra wants it to rain, right? See if I can outspeed it for a dragon zap. Yeah, it's like, oh, ho, ho, here comes a rain dance. What is the point of this? Like... Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soak into your body. I feel like Rayhan very much, like very, very much feels like a doubles trainer, like a doubles player who doesn't know what to do in like a, in a singles fight. He's just used to playing doubles. He's like a VGC guy and he just doesn't know what to do in, in, in singles. Uh, Horseman Mind says, I really love Gudra. Yeah, Gudra's cute. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. Yeah, it's like... I don't know. I don't know what he's going for here. I guess maybe this Gudra then uses a water type move, and it gives you like it, the the rain boosts it. And now, actually, uh, Ribetina's dry skin goes from being a liability to being a bonus. Unless you know this Duraludon. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna use like a fire type attack to set up Sunny Day again. Here we go. Giant, giant frog monster. Ribetina doesn't have any good advice. She's just trying to figure out herself, okay? Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. <laughs> Building. Building. I like Duraludon. I know, I know it's kind of stupid looking, but I I really came around. At first, I was like, "Oh, look at this stupid building mon," but I actually like the way it looks, and I like his G Max form. It's fine. I like it. Yeah, yeah, dry skin. Oh, dry skin and black sludge. Yeah, nice. He's got underwear clinging to his behind, too. Was it worth it? I guess, yeah. Uh, Rayhan's whole strategy here is that he's wearing a hoodie. Right? He's like, they're going to make that challenger wear, like, shorts and a jersey. But I'm going to be wearing a hoodie. <laughs> right? I was like, well, uh, okay. I guess, I guess that was your... Is like your your strategy was to make me slightly uncomfortable in my clothes, especially since like it's three different types of things. So it's like got him dusty, then you got them wet, then it was sunny again. So you actually kind of weirdly cleaned the clothes, and now it's raining again. So I guess now everybody's wet. Skippy the one chicken says Ribetina's just qu just a queen. Let her live. Yeah, Ribetina's not trying. She's not trying to get in anybody's face, except you know during Pokemon battles. She's just trying to figure herself out. She's got she's got a ways to go. Not everybody can have it as together as Dr. Violet. Skippy says, you know what it is? Duraludon is a Unova Pokemon. There isn't a single skyscraper in this country. Nothing's bigger than like four stories that isn't a castle. That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. That's that's probably where some of that tension comes from. Got him. Yeah, you guys remember at the beginning of the game, starting at level one, these guys are actually like really weak. But I was like, I wonder if like the fact that they have like maxed out stats 
uh, or like maxed out IVs is actually going to make a difference. And I think it does. I think at this point, these guys are actually incredibly strong because of their IVs. Uh, yeah, we did it. Woo! Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Yeah, that's, a, that's okay, Rayhan. I, I really do wish that Rayhan's like closing thing was like, oh, I got wet and dirty, and now my clothes are muddy, and it was for nothing. Challenger Petunia sees his victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming. That's true. Uh, there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. All, still true. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number six, Challenger Petunia has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. This is the result of the final round. Petunia staring at the Pokemon League logo. <laughs> Just like... Oh, that's what she was doing. She knows Eternatus is coming. So her connection with Eternatus is like... Uh, she's like starting to pick up static from the fact that he's almost set free. Horse Point Mind says their IVs are so high you could say they IV soar. You guys are super punny today. I'm going to have to break out the fire extinguisher and give you guys a couple hits. Imagine being toppled at the ripe old age of like 20. I mean... There's always the story of the very first Pokemon rival, right? Blue gets shut down at a day at, like, he goes, he becomes the Pokemon champion. Immediately, your character shows up and just knocks him out of the throne. That guy got to be Pokemon champion for, like, one day. Askew says, what is this, eSports? Yeah, you, you gotta be young. Eh, you know, Pokemon's a game for kids, so, like, 20-year-olds... A 20-year-old seems, like, old and venerable to, like, a 5-year-old, right? Um, Horse Point Mind says, Ah, the old fire extinguisher routine. That's right. I'm not afraid to bring that back. Uh, Hop says, I came just to cheer you on, you know? Oh, he brought his little Cinderace. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Uh, who should I really want to win more? <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Petunia, too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Also, Lee has been champion for, like, at least a couple years. Hop says, so you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Take it easy, Cinderace. Calm down. Uh, Horseman Man says, I literally remember where I was when I first heard the fire extinguisher intro back in the day. I laughed so hard I had to sit down in the middle of mowing the grass. Yeah, I just thought that, like, fire... Like... Shooing animals with a fire extinguisher was like a normal thing that people did, but like apparently not. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, getting a coyote off of a freeway using a fire extinguisher is some weird thing that happened once and no one else has ever heard of it, and it makes me sound like an idiot. But I don't care. I will single handedly tell you guys, like, convince the world that the way that you get a coyote off of a freeway is to chase it with a fire extinguisher. Um, Skippy says, unlike every other playthrough of this game, Hop saying a long time ago has meaning in this playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, because it takes us forever. Here we go. Leon says, the tense still air of the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. I can fill you with fear. It can fill you with fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past that fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give it everything they've got. To seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. 
It feels weird. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gullah Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. I do wish that you maybe got some dialogue options like, Okay, thanks. Or like, why? Audience says, wait, hold on. Hey, look at that monitor. What is that w on the big screen? Why? Hello there, Leon and Petunia. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in it a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Well, let's get out of here. Lee, Petunia. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. Like, you're an athlete. You don't actually have to worry about any of this stuff. Then again, there's not a lot of, like, law enforcement, and you'd assume that they'd mostly be in Rose's pocket, so I guess Leon does maybe have to take care of this. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? Well, go help him. I want to help my brother, Petunia. I've got to go. But I can't even manage to be you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's, what, that's that thing where the sky went all dark. Once ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about? And where did we even hear that name? Uh, that statue of the hero, let's say. That statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Petunia. But where to start looking? Back in the slumbering wailed? Wailed? Wheeled? Wild? I don't know. That's it, Petunia. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering wailed. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wailed. If you're lucky, we'll find something that can help. If you're lucky, we'll say wailed some more. Hop, Petunia, and Hop. Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw that... I like how her name is Mum. The chairman saw that and to uh, sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The Darkest Day? Copyright DC Comics. It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. <laughs> the unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? You guys play way too much on, on Leon. Leon is 20 years old. Calm down. Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? Yes, you did. Uh, Zemzi says, how corrupt do you think the police force is? Well, I don't know. There's barely any crime in Pokemon. And all the crime is like very mustache twirly stuff done by organized crime. So, I'm guessing pretty bad, since most of the time it takes an 11-year-old to, like, actually crack them up. So, I'm guessing the police force doesn't do much, and is mostly corrupt in the sense that they, like, you become a cop specifically not to do stuff. Because what else is, what is there to do? Uh, except, you know, hassle people every once in a while, and, and, like, have random Pokemon battles. It's like, oh, hi, I'm a cop, let's have a Pokemon battle. It's like... Don't you think you just have to, like, someplace to patrol? Skippy says, I pronounced it wild. Like, I actually watched a, 
Pokemon Journeys episode that is basically just the story from Sword and Shield. It's like a four episode arc where they just do like the highlights of the story from Sword and Shield. And they pronounce it there and they pronounce it weird, but I don't remember what the pronunciation is there. But yeah, it, it probably is just walled. The Darkest Day is the name for the Black Storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Petunia? I'm here to stop the Darkest Day. To stop the Darkest Day? You mean you're going to search for the Sword and Shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Slumbering Wild. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, is this all going to be like cutscenes? Cutscenes all the way through? All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer. Aww. After all. Cute. Ready for this, Petunia? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that I, it'd bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. That beginning, the beginning of this game is actually pretty good. This game is kind of bookended by some decent stuff. Uh, but all the stuff in the middle is just like, do 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 going to gym battles. Ignoring the plot, ignoring the plot. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Okay. All right. Failed.